Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. We are live and we have some things to open up. Okay, we don't have a whole lot. This is from Evelyn. I've already opened it. She gave it to me at the Mountain Makeup On. Oh, it's not focusing. It's because it's so high. It's so close to the camera because then I have this and I have two boxes. Oh, that's not a box. That's not a thing. I was thinking it was because it was stacked up there. This is a gelatin art kit I saw somewhere and I thought, oh my gosh, I need to have that. I don't know how to do it. Maybe I'll do this with Angela Stone, who's not watching because it's a holiday weekend and she is spending time with her family. She'll have to come back. I was thinking, I could do that when she comes to visit. Okay, so we have a few things to open, and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway of some digital paper, and I'm going to show you, I found some digital paper, not just found, I mean, I have a drawer where I put, like, extra digital paper I had printed up, so we're going to, I'm going to show you that, and then I'm going to give some away. I'm not giving away the actual printed paper, it's going to be digital paper for you to print your own so welcome everybody thank you ronald for that five dollars super chat at the beginning you are an amazing person and appreciated very much okay yeah i've never done the gelatin art i'm a little afraid of it <laughs> connie you're so funny okay let's oh we're already over there let me get over here roll my little chair so we don't have much to open so i thought that's why well we will have fun with some paper and giveaways and i don't know how much to give away we'll just have to see um what was i gonna say i don't know oh i do this on the first saturday every month today is the first of september so here it is so this is such Okay, now this Evelyn. Evelyn, she gave these cards to like all the Cricut employees and so many people. She made these amazing cards and they're so beautiful. She made people cry at the make a fun event. She even made one for my son and for Sheila and Michael and Ken and everybody. Isn't that nice? And wait, wait till we open it. Look, isn't it cool? Just a little note for you. And look at the bling butterflies. She was brought up on stage because they wanted to thank her for her cards. Aren't they amazing? Woohoo! Isn't it so pretty? Okay, now here is one by Glenda Boyd. You know what? I can't even open my open letter today, I think. I don't know. Can I stick this in here? No. Okay, so I got my True Control knife blade. I feel like I need to turn the light on. Clouds got cloudy in here. <laughs> cloudy in here. I got like solar lights, but when it's cloudy, it's darker in here. It doesn't actually get cloudy inside my house. Oh, Elston Expressions, is that you, Evelyn? Yeah, they were all different. They, she, she really made them personalized for each person too. They were amazing. She also gave me some awesome pink flamingos who they are outside in my yard right now. Sure this, okay. She's a nice protected envelope. A heartfelt thanks. That's so pretty. Thank you for all you do. And then it's a, um, it's like a step card, kinda. Isn't that pretty? Here's the side of it. It's a center step card. 
Thank you. She, oh, she says thank you for the beautiful glitter cardstock. She won in at the make anniversary event. I gave away some um, glitter cardstock and I sent it to her. So she thanked me. Thank you. It's a beautiful card. Gonna put it on my wall. Um, so I haven't told anyone this yet, but The Villages has a magazine and it's kind of like a real magazine. Um, and I say that because like the, it's not like a newspaper, you know, magazine. It's like magazine material. And they came and did an article on me and the cricket and stuff and took some pictures of my gratitude wall. So some of your cards might be, I'm not sure what pictures they're using, might be in that magazine. Okay, I'm gonna open this. Whoops. So if you want to see your cards uh, or projects or whatever in my video for next month, you can send them. And I open them on the first Saturday of the month. What's this? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Judy Block. Okay. I got an award from YouTube and I cried during opening it. I really didn't think I would, but I really, really cried. And Thank you so much that I'm crying again. She like recreated my award. And then made a little Kleenex box that says, it's okay to shed a tear. Isn't that amazing? Oh my gosh. So cool. And I can stand that up. That is amazing. Let me get my award. grabbing paper because I have it on top of my pattern paper. I haven't put it up on the wall yet. So here's my real award. <laughs> she made, this is so awesome. This is amazing. Thank you so much. That is so cool. That is so, so cool. I love this. And this paper looks like real Kleenex box. Like, you know, like I feel like I've seen Kleenex boxes with that. Isn't it awesome? Wow. Amazing, Judy. Thank you so much. And she says, we love you, Melody, Judy Block, and all your fans. She made this from all of you. That is amazing. Thank you so much. It's so cool that I, I love it. Thank you so much. Is Judy here? I didn't see her name. So Evelyn is making, um, 
She's in the process of making a YouTube site. So if you click on her name, Elston Expressions, in the chat, you can click on um, either her icon, yeah, I think her icon, or the three dots next to her name, and go subscribe to her channel. She's going to start doing some videos. She's in my group for learning live videos. That's a perk to people who um, support my channel on Patreon for $5 or more or support my channel on YouTube. Yeah, judges give that a 10. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I've never seen anything like that. That, that is awesome. Thank you so much. Um, so I was going to do some giveaways of digital paper, but first I thought I'm going to go through some of this. Some of this is like scraps. Some of it I've used it, but a lot of people ask me what digital paper is and Digital paper can be used, <clears throat> excuse me, in many different ways. You can print it. I do have a wide format printer, so I can print it on 12 by 12. I do not normally print it out ahead of time. I did, oh, you don't need this. <laughs> I did print it out um, ahead of time. I have to print some of it out so I can see what it looks like and make sure it prints correctly. Um, but the one thing about digital paper is you can print it on paper. You can print it on eight and a half by 11, as like that one. I printed on eight and a half by 11. Lots of these are. Um, or you can do 12 by 12. You get both sizes. And you can do front and back. On 12 by 12, I cannot get it all the way to the border. So sometimes if I need it to the border, I cut it off. Um, but you can make it double-sided. You can print on different colors on different sides. You can print on different materials. So this, these few first ones are from the new Jamie set. I don't have them all printed out, I don't think. I don't remember. But here's another one. This one it has more colors in it. I don't think I printed the back on the rest of them. But see, this is like a big brick on this one. So if you want it on a smaller brick, you can set this to print smaller or repeat itself or put it into a pattern like in the um, video I just did. You can set it into patterns and make it any size you really want it. And then here's another one. This is kind of like the first one, but it kind of repeats itself. I like this because I think it almost looks like it has depth in there, like this is on the inside. Does that look like that to you guys? I think it does. I think it looks like it has depth and texture to it. And then I love, this is the one I did with my working gumball machine. I did the yellow gumball machine on this back pattern. Does the Cricut Pearl paper receive print well? Shelly, that is an awesome question. I don't know. I never even thought to try it. I did print on Cricut glitter cardstock, the white glitter cardstock. This is all Cricut paper. Um, I like the texture of the Cricut glitter paper. I don't know if you can see. I can't hold it still enough. Um, but I like the texture of the Cricut glitter paper. But I did do it, or I did do it on glitter paper. It doesn't, it's not as bright on glitter paper. Yeah, I also use um, my digital paper. If you see my website, melodylanedesigns.com, that's where you get the digital paper. Look on the sides of the website. Well, I guess I can show you, can't I? What the magic? Okay, this is the digital paper. This is the digital paper. That image is the digital paper with this. It's all digital paper. That's all digital paper. This is digital paper. And when you go to my website, 
some people, I think, they think these are the only three I have. Click on catalog. Now here, there's some SVGs in here. I really need to make more SVGs. <laughs> uh, there's not a lot. And then the digital paper is here. So you just click on that. And then there's two pages of digital paper. So you have these back here too. Now, if you, um, which one should we look at today? Hmm. Let's look at this one because Halloween's coming up. So you can click on this and get a, if you go up here, you get a more close up look of it. So this one comes with the pumpkins and I drew that pumpkin myself. Then I put it on a green background and a purple background um, and some stripes that I drew. These are all like painted, like I painted those stripes. And this one has bats. This is like a PNG of bats. I don't, this does not have a white background. It's actually just the bats. And then I also drew these ghosts and I made them uh, inverted too. So you could print this. I think I did this once. I never did share it. I printed this on black paper. So I printed the black on black paper. When you got it out, you couldn't really see it very well, but I did it through my laser printer so I could foil these. So it used toner, and then I could use an opaque foil for the ghost. I don't know what ever happened to that card. This is kind of a neat design too. You can see it up close. Oh wait, let me go back to my Brooklyn design. I love this one. I love the different, I think this one is one of my favorites. There's so many different patterns inside these because they start out with me painting. I used a stencil, I made a stencil and then used it in painting and then I sometimes layer um, images on top of each other. This is a really cool one too. Just with just lots of color. Isn't it pretty? I love it. I like that one too. Okay, I'm just, I get, just looking at these. Okay, let's go back. Oh, and today is the last day to use coupon code. Yes, I made all this digital paper. Um, my wide format is not laser, no. Um, I didn't mention, if you support me on YouTube, as a YouTube member for the $4.99, or support me on Patreon for only a dollar, you get 60% off my paper. So there's a code for 60% off. So it's if you're gonna buy more than one, or if you're gonna buy one, it's cheaper to become a Patreon for one dollar and get the 60% off. So I'm not that smart at business because you're getting 60% off for a dollar. Um, but, some people don't want to do the Patreon, so you can use my code. It expires at 11.59 tonight. Let me look and see what that code is, because I forgot. Okay, it's August 15 off ML. I'm gonna copy it and paste it here. So if you wanna say 15%, then you can use that code, it ends tonight. Okay, let's get back to where we were. If you have questions, please ask. Um, yeah, these, oh, you guys are seeing the wrong thing. Okay, so here it is. So 
my digital paper is different than most people's because most people's will add uh, stripes or circles or just do things and make the digital paper. Mine, I make, this is, I painted this. And so I'm just sharing what I paint with you, pretty much. Um, this, this was in my drawer like this because I had this as one of my projects. Like, I love that. I don't know what I'm doing with this yet. I've never actually made it permanent. I just, isn't that pretty? I love this. This is from my fairy set. So I painted this. This is actually what I painted. And then I've also used this to layer different ones. This is one of those we just looked at. I love all the little crackles and stuff inside it. This is a scrap of one of them. I love this one for um, uh, like water. To me, this looks like maybe underwater. You can print on any color you want. This is one. Now this one, I painted on my iPad with my uh, Apple Pencil. So this one, the fairy set and the Molly set and a few others. Like I usually do digital, I paint first and then do digital. This one I actually painted, like I painted these on my iPad. I didn't actually use paint. And I did each blade of gla grass. Like this took forever. It took me forever to do these mushrooms too. Absolutely forever. I kept going over erasing, doing more. And I think with this set, you actually get this paper. Like I made these to fit cards. So like if you do a lot of cards, I just put these on so you can just print this whole thing and then you can cut the paper. And as you can see, I cut out a butterfly with this one because um, I wanted a rainbow butterfly. And I did these on my iPad. This is all in the same set. Don't these drops look real? I think they look real. Like, it took me a long time just to do those little dew drops. And then that got wet. This is like half of one of my, um, I don't know, I call it like a sunset. And this one, this one I love more as a pattern in design space. This is the one that I'm surprised every time I use this in design space, I'm like, wow, that's beautiful. I love that one. And I did this on the iPad. Now this is the Carol set. So with the Carol set, you get like, this is like a color. It has different blends of color. This actually, I might've done this one on my iPad too. Cause I drew these little leaf things. I drew those with my iPad, with my Apple pencil. So you have like three of the same color. I mean, they're not printed right here. So you get the color, then you get this that has the little leaves all over it. And then you get it so it has it with the center open. So you could like, uh, you can print these smaller, you know, upload it as a pattern and put like a sentiment inside here. That was my idea when I made these. Yeah, and you can print the front and back of the sheets so they're double-sided. Um, some people say, well, what's the reason of just buying pattern paper or digital? You never run out of a pattern. If you're doing a lot or wedding invitations or something, you never run out of that pattern. You don't have to run back to the store for that pattern. So here's this one, print it, cut big. And I just cut out some butterflies. I placed them on the paper where I wanted them cut out. And here's one where I put four of the digital paper on one set. So I could cut these out and use these as a card. So with my printer, this isn't even any special software. It's just my printer. I can fit four to a sheet if I want. Uh, Bless Mama's asking, do you think you'd do your own vinyl one day? 
Actually, there is a vinyl company who has paid me a license and they have 10 of my designs that they put on vinyl. Uh, I have to look it up what company it is. Thank you, Sandy. But they do have some of my designs on vinyl. And then here is one where I put nine designs on one sheet. And I can use this just as it is if I want. Here's another one. And these come in eight and a half by 11 and 12 by 12. Here's the big rainbow one. Here's this, this one is so, I just love these. Isn't that pretty? And of course you can print it down small. I just think it's beautiful. I have the Epson 7710, right? Oh, these, a lot of these were actually printed like two years ago on the Epson 7620. So yeah, like these were printed a few years ago. This one is a Patreon exclusive. There's one like this, but then this one has like those little, I don't know what those are called. I'll call them little crosses because they are kind of like little crosses or like little star things. That was a Patreon exclusive. Oh, this comes in the Jamie set. This is a new one. It's kind of hard to see. It's like teal and green brick. Here's a rainbow one with grass. And this one I didn't really like at first, but it looks really cool as a background or what did I use it for that I really loved it? I don't remember. It's really pretty or it looks like somebody threw up on the paper. That's why I didn't like it at first, but then I used it for something and thought, oh, that's perfect. Oh, for leaves. This is perfect to cut out fall leaves. Like you can get a little bit of each color, like some red and orange and green in it and some brown and red and it's perfect to cut out fall leaves. And then this is another one. This is from the Carol set. It looks like plain paper, but it's not. It has a little texture to it. And then it also um, has like this with those little things in it. And here's another one from the Carol set. And this is from the Becky set. This is, um, this is one of the first ones I did. I love this one. I think this is what my YouTube banner is made out of too, I think. I know it was at one time. Here's some other pieces I've cut. These are from the Becky set too. And here's another one of these, cause I love it. Oh, here, oh. I have a, here's part of one. See, these are like my scraps. This is really pretty too. Here's one. This is a fun one. And when you use just parts of it too, it's really amazing. Oh, here's a full sheet of that one. Sometimes I like these better printed than in the photograph. Okay, now this is, this is just, it's, I don't know what happened to this, but I saved it because I cut out this on vellum. So I cut four sheets on a 12 by 12 piece of vellum. Um, but it messed up somehow. But I kept the sheet anyway because it's really cool. I don't know if you can see through it here. Yeah, see, so you can see through it. Um, I made a lantern with this. I think I printed it on vellum and then made a lantern and I have a video of that. Okay, are there any questions? No, Belinda, great question. If you're a patron, does it automatically figure the discount? No, my website is not set up to know if you're a Patreon or not. You have to use the code. So if you go to my Patreon site, whoops, wrong button. Um, 
and click digital paper on one of these that gives you the code. But I want to use it will give you the code for the digital paper. How do I come up with names for my paper? It's so hard for me to come up with names. I'm trying to just use women's names just because I can't. It's hard. Sometimes I name them after people. Um... Yeah, you can use it for anything you want. You can use it for junk journals. Can you copy images to match things you have? I'm not sure what you mean. How did you do that initial with your name? Oh, that's a... Um, I think I have some videos on that and I have every letter of the alphabet made in those initials in those letters and there, I give them to Patreon supporters have them oh Evelyn says have you printed the pattern on transparency film I don't think I have. That's a great idea. Can you show Jamie again? Yes. So I'm going to click catalog. Click on that one. Here's Jamie. This is the newest one. And I have two more sets coming. So you, you're going to get more that are amazing i actually kind of the, the further i go with them the more i like them so here's the jamie set now the purple on here is my watermark when you get these you do not have the watermark on them i like this one too oh and i have a vase cut out with that one I like all the colors in them. Here's the teal one, teal and green. I think this one's pretty too. Okay. Who wants to win some? So now, when I usually do giveaways, I don't say, oh, you're getting this one. Um, somebody's asking for Christmas paper. The only one I've done with Christmas, it's really hard for me to do something that somebody asks for, especially when I'm painting. It's, it's I don't know, I'm not a good drawer, somebody that draws very well. And so this is the one I consider Christmas. So I drew this on my iPad. I drew that tree. I made those snowflakes, drew the background. Is there another one? Yeah. Then I made this background without the tree. And this, I kind of took a little bit from my from that other one that had all these little lines in it and played around with it. And then I made red and green. I made this as just some texture to it. I thought that looked cool. Like I love this color like for the sky or for snow and different things. Okay, are those different? I think they might be. And then that with chevron. And then this, I put the red and green ones together and made like a checkerboard. And then I have just a blue with texture. I have that one. And then here are some stripes. A snowy sky. And that's it. 
еще раз с вами. Okay, I'm I'm gonna give away paper, but the winner gets to choose what they want. How do you get the code for 60% off? Um, on Patreon, click on digital paper and it will be this post. I don't think it's... Yeah, okay, I can go down and you can't see it. Uh, click on this post, it should have the code on Patreon. So to find my post on Patreon, you can just click post. So you go to patreon.com slash Melody Lane, click on post. If you just want to find the digital paper, just click here where it says digital paper. If you want to find my design space files, click on feature one post. Yes, I'm up for the challenge. I want people to... Uh, tell me what they want to learn. Okay. I am going to move the chat over here. So now we got two chats on the screen. I know, I know. But, okay. So I am going to choose somebody, but I'm just going to scroll like this. So you need to comment now if you want to win some digital paper. Um, let's say you win three sets. I'll pick three winners. You each get three sets, your choice of the digital paper. Um, and email me, um, or message me. Some of you I know on Facebook, if you're not on Facebook, if you are on Facebook, tag me or message me. If I don't respond to your message, tag me somewhere so that I have you. Or you can email me. Don't email me if you didn't win. I mean, if you have a question, you can. But don't say you won if you didn't because I'm going to check with your YouTube name. Okay? So you can't just say. Okay, so I'm going to... Close my eyes, looking the other way, and I'm just going to flick my finger on my mouse up and down. Don't know where I'll stop. So it's going to be the person who stops at the top. I'm not stopping yet, but it's who's ever here first. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. This is Jamie Hunter. Jamie Hunter is the first winner. So we're going to pick another winner. I should write this down. Hold on, let me write it down. Okay, now we're gonna pick again. I'm gonna go all the way down, go up. Okay, looking away. Bobby and Day, you win. Okay, let's try again. Pat May. Thank you guys. Okay, so I have these written down. 
So message me or email me. We'll do some more giveaways too. Uh, I will be doing a giveaway in uh, some of my Facebook groups too. And remember, today's the last day to use the coupon code, but really, you get 60% off if you're a patron of only a dollar. And today's the first day of the month. So whenever you do Patreon, you are charged when you sign up and then the first day of the month. So if you've never been a Patreon or you're not currently and you sign up today, you'll be charged whatever you pledge and then you'll be charged again in October 1st. If you sign up on September 29th, you will be charged on September 29th and October 1st. I have no control over anything with payouts of Patreon. I don't get your credit card info or your PayPal info. I don't, I don't have any of that. All I have is your email address and some of you, your address, if I've had you put your address in. But that's it. I don't have control over all of that. I'm going to move this so people don't get confused with all the live chats on the screen. Yeah, Jamie, you can message me on Facebook. I don't always get messages on Facebook from people. So if I do not respond, please um, tag me somewhere or put it on my timeline or um, ask me to be your friend. Yeah, Bobby and Day, I saw you one from Ken's Patreon yesterday. Thank you, Evelyn. She's reminding people to use my links. I only get um, credit or commission when you use my links on things. Not my digital paper. You can just go straight there. Yeah, my background on my computer just keeps changing. Isn't that pretty? They're beautiful. Yes, Sandy, you did. Glad you signed up today, too. You get all those uh, special. If you pledge on Patreon for $5 or more, you get all of these. You also get in my Learning Live videos group and my secret Patreon group, and all my files, and all my SVGs, and you get to be in my live hangout video, and um, you get to be in $50 giveaway. I think I do a $50, like two $50 giveaways on Patreon for the $5 or more. If you pledge $15 or more, you get to be in a $300 giveaway or a Cricut Maker. A link to Patreon, of course. Thank you, Barb West. That was very generous. Uh, where is my background paper from? My paper, my digital paper, I paint myself. If you are um looking at my background on my computer i don't know it just came with my computer i have the imac pro yeah the rose maker and the blue maker are now available Um, <laughs> I'm laughing at Sheila, are now available on the Cricut website.
want me to do some kind of school paper. I don't, I don't know what I would do for school paper. Those adorable doggies are my doggies. They're Kobe and Carly. And they sleep a lot. They're eight years old. I rescued them. Yeah, I don't know where these came from. This, these change. I don't know how often. Oh, I guess I can look at you guys. My hair's a mess. I get it colored today. The dogs sleep a lot, they snore a lot, and they fart. They don't fart very often, but when they do, that's horrible. Like, oh, when I first got them and brought them home, they farted so bad. Callie, my assistant, was with me too, and she's like, oh no, I think they pooped. Oh no. And I'm like, oh my God. I had to turn on my biohazard in my car because it vacuums out all the air and puts fresh air in. I was gagging. And she's like, are you okay? I'm like, it, it smells so bad. I had to roll down my window, like stick my head out the window. It was disgusting. And it was just a fart. It was bad. Yay, Cindy's trying her new maker knife blade today. <laughs> Pencils, glue, lunch tray, scissors, etc. for school. But see, that's the problem. I could grab all those things maybe and put them on paper, but um, on my paper I try to draw or paint what I'm doing. I don't know that I could paint that stuff. Yeah, I need to go for a golf cart ride and I need to share it with you guys. My son is finally gone. He went back home. Um, I would like to get the puppies on a golf cart ride. They've never been on one as far as I know. They haven't been with me. So I need to try that. These dogs are eight years old. Uh, how do I walk both of them? They're on a, a, I think it's called a coupler leash. I have one leash and then at the end of the leash, there's like two, trying to, two things that go out like this. And it's kind of bungee cord kind of. And so they can't walk in opposite directions or they just can't walk. They like go. I first had two leashes and they would walk around me and I'd get tangled and everything. So now I have one leash that has two different things on the end and they're kind of bungee. And sometimes if he tries to run somewhere and she's over here, she will like bounce back up to him and start running with him. I'm just sitting here reading the comments. Joan says, check your dog food. Well, they were farting before I came and then they gave me the dog food that they've been on for eight years and they weren't eating it. So I bought some new dog food that's made for little bitty puppies. Not puppies, but made for little dogs. And they kind of like that. Maybe I should get... They're only eight, though. Is that really considered senior? All right. I'm going to let you guys go. They probably need to go out for a walk. They haven't been out for a walk since 6.30 this morning when they got me up. 
<laughs> so I took them outside. They did their business. And we all came back in and went back to bed. Oh, Donna, that's awesome. Uh, she's going to try the new knife blade on my tool holder. Let me remind you, because I forgot this too, when you put it on the tool holder, remember the chipboard is only 11 by 11, so make sure it all fits in the 11 by 11, and make sure um, you move the pieces a little further apart. You don't want them so close because the chipboard will kind of peel up if it's real intricate. And even though the project is not intricate when the pieces are really close together it it's kind of like intricate when it's cutting so close together so just move them maybe a half an inch away from each other is there a video on putting a border on an image that doesn't have one um you can find lots of borders in design space and weld it to any image Bye everyone. I'm gonna go. My little boy's getting restless. Shannon's asking, where can I find a video making t-shirts? I would just search uh, Iron On or HTV. Um, I am doing bleach this time on my hair. It takes a couple hours. They, uh, I only get the roots bleached uh, every other time. All right, guys, next week, Patreon hangout at this time after the class. Bye, guys. Oh, wait, I have to go back and hang up from YouTube. Bye.